Hello young learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Today this lesson is for class 6 English, the first lesson, who did Patrick's homework. We will understand the text and do some activities in order to comprehend the text and answer the questions based on the text and do some vocabulary activities. Let us now look at the objectives of this lesson, so that we will be able to focus on uh, what we really learn through this lesson. Here are the objectives, at the end of this lesson you will be able to read and comprehend the story who did Patrick's homework, discuss the events in the story and interpret them, use the words and phrases in context and for purposes. So, what we are going to do? We are going to understand the story and how we will understand who does what with whom, the events of the story. Then by reading out the story, we will also be able to use the new words, phrases, understand them, comprehend them and use them in real life purposes. Now with me is Ms. Kriti Gautam and me, Meganathan, we will be discussing this and you are participating from elsewhere. Okay. Now, Kriti, uh, tell me, do you like homework? No, I do not like homework. Is there any child on earth who likes homework? I am not sure though, because homework is very boring and it becomes tedious after a whole day in school. Okay, fine. So, majority of the students do not like homework, yes. that is the truth. So, it is quite natural because uh, most of the time homework is given writing as yes. uh, homework. So, sometimes reading, some uh, mathematics teachers give lot of homework, science teachers and language teachers also. So, here is a child like you, a class 6 boy who does not want to do homework. So, he gets bored. Then he says uh, his parents, no, no, let, let me not to do the homework, let me play the some video games, this, that. So, there is a problem there. But let us see how this Patrick, who does not want to do homework, is made to do or he does the homework at the end of this story. So, Patrick is a school boy who does not want to do homework. Okay. Since it is a very short story, uh, I would like to read out to you, then we will do some activities on it. Then I also would ask you to read the story, come on. Here is the story of who did Patrick's homework, class 6, lesson 1. Who did Patrick's homework? Patrick never did homework, too boring he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick do you a homework or you would not learn a thing. And it is true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus, but what could he do? He hated homework. Then one day he found his cat playing with the little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise it was not a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's. He yelled, save me, do not give me back to the cat, I will grant you a wish, I promise you that. Patrick could not believe how lucky he was, here was the answer to all his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of this semester, that is 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get yes. The little man's face wrinkled like a disc cloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, I am cursed, but I will do it. And true to his word, the little elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. The elf did not always know what to do and he needed help. Help me, help me, he would say and Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I do not know this word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary, no, no, what is even better, look up the word and the sound it by each letter. When it came to mathematics, Patrick was out of luck. What are times tables? The elves shrieked. We elves never need that. 
and addition, subtraction and division and fractions. Here sit down beside me, you simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history. To them, it is a mystery. So, the little elf already a shouter just got louder. Go to the library, I need books, more and more books and you can help me read them too. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, the little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with eyes puffed and bleary. Finally, the last day of school arrived the, and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more, there was no more. So, he quietly, slyly slipped out of the back door. Patrick got his A's, his classmates were amazed, his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now a model kid, cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed the whole new attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he had made the tiny man do all his homework. But I will share a secret. Just between you and me, it was in the elf. Patrick had done it himself. Carl Moore is the author of the short story. This is the story of Patrick, how he is made to do homework. So, now we have got something to do with the story. I think the learners there have read the story or I believe and I hope that they will be reading the story. So, um, Kriti, um, uh, now what do you feel about this boy Patrick? Patrick at the very beginning uh, was an ignorant child. He did not like to do his homework at all. And uh, when, as soon as he find the elf, he thought that my, he might be doing his homework on behalf of him. But at the end, the story turned and it was Patrick who was doing his own homework. And elf very, very cleverly uh, helped him and do the same thing. Okay, I am going to ask you to read the story again for the benefit of our uh, students and also expecting them to follow the story or read themselves as you read out. Okay, here is the story. Come on. Who did Patrick's homework? Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true, sometimes he did feel like and ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll. What was it? At then? all. Hmm. But a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch's. He yelled, save me, don't give me back at that cat, I'll grant you a wish, I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. If you do good enough job, I could even get A's. The little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed, but I'll do it. And true to his word, that little elf began to do Patrick's homework, except there was one glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Interesting. Help me, help me, he'd say, and Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know this word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Mm -hmm. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better, look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Good. <laughs> when it came to maths, 
Patrick was out of luck. What are timetables? The elf shrieked. We elves never need that. And addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history to make it a mystery. Mm -hmm. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder. Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And you can help me read them too. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Mm -hmm. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. Good. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents? They wonder what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid. Cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he would make that tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret. Just between you and me, it wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. Okay, rightly so. So, but one thing is clear, Kriti. Patrick changed himself. Yes, he did. Uh, that's one. So, even though he believed, he believes, elf has done the work. Okay. Uh, learners, you have listened to the story who did Patrick's homework twice. So, I think you have got the story now and otherwise you read it again. And now what we are going to do is we are going to just give you the subtext that is the summary of the story for you. Here it is. Uh, let us summarize the story. Then Kriti, yes, sir. here is the summary of the story. It appears on the, uh, the in, in PowerPoints. So, let us read the summary. I would uh, ask you to read this summary. So, here is the summary. Read louder so that um, learners, students listen to it carefully. So, the events of the story uh, are being summarized. Come on. Let us summarize the story. Patrick did not want to complete his homework because he hated homework and liked to play sports. Rightly so. One day Patrick's cat caught an elf and was playing with it. Then the elf saw Patrick and promised Patrick to grant him a wish if Patrick saved him from the cat. Patrick agreed and told the elf that he had to complete all Patrick's homework till the end of the semester. The elf reluctantly agreed but he told Patrick that he would need his help because the elf did not know how to do homework. Fine. Every day the elf asks Patrick's help by making Patrick to find the words in a dictionary or to add or subtract maths problems. Mm -hmm. Finally on the last day when the school was over, the elf slipped from the back door and when the results were out, Patrick got A's. Now, we have read it twice and we have summarized it. Uh, now, we are going to ask the learners to, the summary is given in a jumbled order. They are going to rearrange it to, to make the story complete. Okay? Rearrange the event in, events in the story to make the story coherent, means what happened first, what, what happened next and how. So, the, here are the sentences, jumbled sentences of the story, they have to rearrange it. I am going to read out the jumbled order. Later, you may mark it as 1, 2, 3. Here, this is in uh, A, B, C, D. So, you have to mark it as 1, 2, 3. Okay? Uh, I am reading out in jumbled order. Patrick agreed and told the elf that he had to complete all Patrick's homework till the end of the semester. Every day 
the elf asked Patrick's help by making Patrick to find the words in a dictionary or to add or subtract mathematics problems. Then the elf saw Patrick and promised Patrick to grant him a wish if Patrick saved him from the cat. Patrick did not want to complete his work because he hated homework and liked to play sports. Finally, on the last day, when the school was over, the elf slipped from the back door and when the results were out, Patrick got his A's. One day, Patrick's cat caught an elf and was playing with it. The elf reluctantly agreed, but he told Patrick that he would need his help because the elf did not know how to do homework. Now, Kriti, yes, sir. This, is, this is the uh, jumbled order. order. So, we have to redo it again. Things are in A, B, C, D. Let you try uh, in order. Uh, so, what you will have to do is rearrange them into uh, by numbering it so that students they are also trying it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, do it. Okay. Uh, which one would be the first one? The first one would be Patrick did not want to complete his homework because he hated homework and liked to play sports. So, that is the first event. That is okay. number one. The second one? The second one would be one day Patrick's cat got an elf and was playing with it. Okay. He noticed that. So, what will be number three? Number third would be? The elf saw Patrick. Yeah. Hmm. Then the elf saw Patrick and promised Patrick to grant him a wish if hmm. Patrick saved him from the cat. Hmm. Fine. And the fourth one would be, Patrick agreed and told the elf that he had to complete all Patrick's homework till the end of the semester. Very good. The elf reluctantly agreed, but he told Patrick that he would need his help because the elf did not know how to do homework. That would be number fifth. Hmm. Sixth would be, every day the elf asks Patrick's help by making Patrick to find the words in a dictionary or to add or subtract maths Fine. problem. And lastly, hmm. finally on the last day when the school was over, the elf slipped from the back door and when the results were out, Patrick got A. You have rearranged it. Yes. So, learners there, uh, be careful when you read and uh, record it, understand it, you read the story as a whole. The events move from one to another, one after another. So, then uh, we have given you the summary. You can go back and watch it and this re uh, jumbled sentences of the summary. Then now we rearranged it that as appears on the, on, on the screen. Now, Kriti, see now learners have watched, listened to, read and listened to the summary, then rearranged the jumbled order. Now, that is not enough. So, let us also uh, give them some more questions which will make them understand the story better. So, here are some multiple choice questions, MCQ questions which is very popular and common now. I am going to ask you, there are four options for each question. The first one, say true or false, Patrick liked to do homework, Patrick never liked to do homework, Patrick liked to do homework sometimes, Patrick always liked to do homework. Which one would be right? This one would be B. Hmm. Patrick never liked to do homework. He never liked. Yeah, okay. he never liked. Fine. Then, where did he find the elf? He found it near his study table. It was flying in his room. He found it when his cat was playing with it. His father gave him to play with. The correct answer would be C. He found it when, when his cat was playing with it. Fine. What did the elf ask Patrick when he found him? A. Elf asked him to be his partner. Elf asked him to play with him. Elf asked him to beat the cat. Elf asked him to save it from the cat. The moment Patrick saw the elf, what did the elf ask him? Elf asked him that he will grant him a wish. And please and save me. Yeah, please so, save then me. look at the answers again. Then it would be changed to option D. Elf asked him to save it from the cat. Okay, so it's off. Yes. Okay. What promise did Elf give Patrick? It granted him a cricket bat. It granted him a wish. It gave him a lot of trophies. It granted him to be free. This would be B. It granted him a wish. Okay. What is the wish? Wish was that he will do his homework. Okay. 
what did Patrick ask the elf to do? Patrick asked the elf to do to go away, sorry. Patrick asked the elf to go away from there. He asked the elf to do all his homework. He asked the elf to take care of his cat. He asked the elf to play with him. Okay. This would be B. He asked the elf to do all of his homework. All his homework. All fine, his fine. Homework. How did the elf do the homework? Elf did all homework himself. Elf consulted dictionary and did his homework. Elf asked Patrick to do the homework. Elf did not do any homework. This would be C. Hmm. Elf asks Patrick to do his homework. Fine. Okay. Good. Good. What was the reaction of Patrick's teachers, parents, and the classmates? They were surprised and praised him. They didn't believe it. They thought that Patrick cheated in doing the homework. They knew Elf did all his homework. This would be definitely A. They were surprised and they praised him. Okay. Now, this question is for all of us the students who are watching and Kriti you. Now tell me who did Patrick's homework in the real sense. It was Patrick all throughout. All throughout. Yes. But what Patrick believed? He believed that it was the elf who was doing the homework. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, good, good. Well done. Learners, uh, there are lots of questions at the, uh, at the end of the textbook. These are the questions in addition to those for, to make you understand. Now look at, there are two sides of Patrick, is it? Yes. Kiriti. Yes. So, till he finds that elf, he was a different person. After he has found it, he is a different person. Now, let us describe with some words or sentences, how was Patrick or how was Patrick before he met the elf, how is now Patrick after he met the elf. Okay. Come on, fine. Before, describe Patrick before he met elf and after he met okay come on uh, first before he met uh, he was ignorant ignorant uh, yeah. yes what was the word used ignormous ignormous yes uh, secondly he liked to play games a lot not only outdoor games yeah not only outdoor games but video games as well fine and uh, he was uh, very stubborn child that he did not want to do homework. He did not want to do homework. homework. So, he did not want to do homework. Yes. Fine. Then, now, come to the elf, the man now. He became conscious uh, of doing his homework, although elf was helping him in a way. Fine. Then, what other changes? He started concentrating in his studies. He cleaned his room. He became an ideal child. Okay, model kid. Model that was kid, it. yes. Then, okay, this is the thing. Okay, can you now describe elf himself? What kind of person? I don't know. Elf is a human or non-human. Sometimes we call him him. Sometimes the elf. So is a kind of supernatural or semi-natural, semi-human being, and it appears in uh, what's it, magic, magic uh, kind yes. of thing. So now I'm going to challenge you. Use five sentences or five adjectives to describe elf. Elf was very clever. Fine. And um, he in a way asked Patrick to do his homework. Hmm. And uh, that's one, clever. Clever, yes. Then uh, how was he behaving initially when caught by the cat? He was scared. And what did he ask? This one, that is also a quality, yes, you know? Yes, yes. He was, he was afraid of the cat. When he was scared, scared afraid, afraid, but at the same time, he used his uh, intelligence, you know, senses to escape from it. Yes. He was tactful. Tactful, yes. So, he was initially scared and he was tactful. Then once, though he also didn't like to do homework, and uh, we don't know whether he pretended not knowing tables, history, mystery, what, are, what other things, subtraction he says. But however, he was convincing this man, Patrick, Patrick. to do his work. So, he was very uh, clever and brilliant. Really? Then also, as the job got over, he slipped out. Vanished. Went away. Fine. Yes. But that's two, there are two things about Elf. One is clever and he ran away at the end, but he was also honest. Yes, he was honest. So he, he kept the promise. So, this is how Kriti learners there. Mm. This is the story of uh, Patrick, who did Patrick's homework, part 1. 
we have only discussed the understanding of the text, some items related to that, the events, how to look at the story, interpret it, uh, understand the story, then some vocabulary. So, in the second part, we will be discussing vocabulary and language item. Thank you for watching and participating. We will continue with the second part in our next lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Kiriji. Thank you.